some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well now, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a traffic stop in Pasadena, California with a Sovtard, well, who gives off that usual Sovtard vibe and, as always, the stupid arguments that come along with it. Okay, then, let's go ahead and watch this failure of a YouTube law expert spout off his uh, sovereign citizen garbage. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Officer, how you doing? Merry Christmas. I'm doing good, man. I'm Officer Mata with the Pasadena Police Department. Officer Mata with the Pasadena Police Department? Um, one second, for the record. Um, I need a Supreme Court. Um, as you're aware, Supreme Court says you have to... Uh, show three forms of identification okay. before I can contract with you. Um, I need a business card and I'm gonna need a um, uh, badge number as well, sir, for the record. I am well aware that this video is about five years old, but I'm curious to see how well these uh, soft tards have aged as far as their arguments go. I just want to see for myself have they evolved or have they stayed the same over the years. So let's just see if this age is like a fine wine or it's just a dumpster fire. So let's get on with it. Badge number is 4325. Listen, man, the only reason that I'm stopping you is because you have an expired tag, bro. That's it. Yeah, I actually don't have a tag. And this is, uh, for the record, um, what was your name again? I'm Officer Mata. Officer Mata, may I shake your hand? No, sir. Okay. Officer Mata, uh... Well, gee, you soft heart. According to Texas statutes, it is indeed illegal to, uh, drive without any plates being displayed. Mm -hmm. I am, um, this is a United States Army. Um, well, thank you very much for your service, sir. Yes, sir. Um, he is a United States Army. Okay, then. Uh, I think the slogan Army of One went a little too far in this case. Or maybe he should just learn how to complete his sentences instead of, uh, consuming copious amounts of lead paint chips, which probably led to the brain damage and him becoming a soft hard, which that kind of brain damage is probably irreversible. So it is really no help for you. For the record, this is a personal good. I'm not commuting commerce right now. Um, I'm not actually, according to Texas Transportation Code Chapter 201 subsection K, I'm not, according to law, have to have a tag on here. Wrong again, you Kool-Aid drinker. I was actually going to, though, for the record, because I do commute commerce in this automobile. Okay. okay? So, let me show you for the record. So, for the record, you lead paint guzzling moron. Let's see how much of a dimwit you truly are. What's going on here? Oh. This automobile, for the record, not vehicle, not motor vehicle, but automobile, mm -hmm. non-commercial motor vehicle. So, essentially a privately owned motor vehicle on a public highway that still requires registration, plates, and insurance. I guess that's what he's trying to get at, but you know what? Uh, I don't think he's ever going to get to that particular point, because that would require a fully functioning brain. Which I'm sad to say, from what I've seen here today, he doesn't actually possess one. Was just purchased. Um, and I'm not going to answer any questions, officer, just so you know. I'm not going to answer any questions without my attorney here, okay? I wish to engage that. Uh, there's that. I, I will engage my Fourth Amendment that keeps me safe in my person, my property, my papers against illegal searches and seizures and unlawful detainments. Uh, the Fourth Amendment says unreasonable searches and seizures and has nothing to do with detainment. So, uh, once again, you fail. I wish to in engage in my Fifth I'm Amendment. I'm not asking to look into your car. Okay, in my Fifth Amendment, the for the record. Said, the only thing that I said was that I was stopping you because it showed on my computer that your tag was expired. Absolutely. The only thing I was going to do is ask for your driver's license. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not here to violate any other kind of rights. Okay. Right. But and again, for the record, I'm not, I don't have to have a driver's license to commute okay, in a personal good. Again, I'm not going to answer any questions, officer. With all due respect, and your parents have any children that live? 
Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. I, I, I'm a blue supporter. Mm. Yes, sir. And, and I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Okay. But may I stop? Yes, by all means, please do stop. Please stop spitting out this word salad that just makes absolutely no sense whatsoever to the logical mind. May I take a deep breath for a second? I, you have a you have a gun, sure. and I'm very. It does that make sense? No. The Maybe people get 11. yeah. <clears throat> okay. Hold on. I'm gonna take four deep breaths. What's your last name, buddy? Um, again, I'm not at liberty to give that to you. Okay. Um, you were here, you're, par pardon me real quick, for the record, you pulled me over for a infraction. Sorry. Okay, infraction. You're a policy enforcer under a contract. The contract is for commercial, is for commercial use. The, the contract. Officer, what was your name again? Officer Mata. Mata. I want to just keep, you keep for, for treatment for the record, okay? Uh, do what now? Uh, keep repeating it? Dude, you have a camera. It records things. He doesn't have to keep repeating it. I mean, dude, you absolutely suck at this video thing. Pardon me. I want you to keep repeating it for the record. Officer Mata. Uh, I need a, I need a, I need a, I need a supervisor here. I want to speak to your... Okay, listen, man. Like I said, the only thing that I'm asking for is for a driver's license. Now, okay. now if, if you are refusing... I'm not, pardon me, I'm not refusing anything. For the record, I am stating law, Title 18, United States Code, but T Texas Transportation Code, Chapter 201, Subsection K, Officer Mata, okay? Officer Mata, Officer, uh, Mata okay. That I am in a non-commercial vehicle, I am in a what the Supreme Court calls a commercial, a personal good, okay? They said that any personal good is not subject to license and registration. Murdoch versus Pennsylvania, any state may convert a secured liberty into a privilege and issue a license and a fee for it. Uh, you are wrong right there, dude. Murdoch versus Pennsylvania had to do with the distribution of uh, religious pamphlets on the street. It has nothing to do with driver's licenses. So get your facts straight, dude. Do better. Okay. Schulzberg versus Birmingham, Alabama officer Mata says that if the state does engage in that, I can engage in my right with impunity. Does that make sense, officer Mata? Are you I do believe you are getting your case studies mixed up again because you know what? I can't find that. The Shellsworth versus Birmingham always seems to pop up whenever I try to type in what you talk about. And once again, it has nothing to do with anything that you're trying to spout off. So, try again. You're, are you telling me that you're refusing to show me any form of ID? Again, I'm not here to answer any questions without my attorney present. Okay, so uh, let's do something, man. Why don't you go ahead and just place your phone down and uh, step outside for you. Um... Negative. Uh, oh, Sir Mata, I'm not, I'm not refusing to do anything. Uh, get your story straight, dude, because you just refused to ID, so you are refusing to do something. Your brain must not be functioning properly if you keep getting that kind of thing mixed up. Yeah, I need a supervisor here before we contract. Again, again, sir, I'm not going to contract with you. And, okay, that's fine. I want to talk to your supervisor, sir. Thank you so much. And I do appreciate your service. This man right here, and is this your supervisor? And you're telling me that. Howdy. Howdy. Can I have your name and badge number for the record, sir? How you doing? How are you? Good, Good sir. I'm sorry. You're a public servant, correct? Sir? I'm sorry. Are you a public servant? Depends on who you're asking. Okay. Did you swear no to the Constitution, sir, of the Pasadena? And did you, who did you get sworn in by, I guess is my question? Who did I get sworn in? Yes, sir. Okay, who is that? Is that is that Chief uh, Pathel? Chief Mathel? Yes, sir. Okay, my I'm a I'm a deer, I'm gonna tell you guys this. I'm a Deer Park citizen. Okay, my my mayor uh, Jerry Mouton. This is all the information I'm gonna give you guys that I am about to have a meeting with Jerry Mouton, the mayor of Deer Park. That's all the information. Oh my God! Who the hell cares? Uh, Grace Community Church, right now. That's it. Can I see your title again, please? Absolutely. And officer, what was your name, sir? Officer Thornton. Sir, it's a pleasure to meet uh, you. 
You're not Maria Mendoza, are you? I'm not Maria Mendoza, no, sir. Okay. Officer Thornton, for the record, may I have your badge number, please, sir? Yeah, I have badge numbers. Oh, just, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Officer Thornton, may, may, I, may I speak to you, sir? Okay, I'm late. Wait, are you the supervisor or? Okay. Whenever the supervisor gets here, go ahead and let him speak to me. And that's who I'm going to speak to, sir. I, I, I appreciate it. I would tell you I was born and bred in this, this right here, in this na uh, land right here. Deer Park, Texas. Tell you the truth, this guy's starting to get on my nerves. Thank you, sir. Right. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas. I don't want no trouble. We're just moving and so again, to the you're right so, to travel. You're so refusing to, to... I'm not refusing anything, sir. ID, no, sir. No, sir. You're Absolutely not. not. No, sir. Okay, do you have a driver's I'm not refusing. Hey, guys, for the record, I'm not refusing anything. Bullshit! Bullshit! Is that the officer? I know they, I know this gentleman. Let me speak to the... To the let me speak to the sergeant real quick. I'm, for the record, I'm requesting a supervisor. Is that the supervisor? No, sir. Okay. Is, so you're the man of authority? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm okay, we're, I, again, I'm requesting a supervisor. I'm okay, I'm, I'm not going to talk to you until the supervisor gets here, officer. Okay, Fair enough? Fair enough? Fair enough? I'm not trying to cause you any trouble, but I'm trying to get home for Christmas, man. You know, officer, you know, uh, Jerry Mouton is the mayor of Deer Park. They do Bible study at my dad's house right here. That's great. Bro. Okay, I'm We're just saying. Virginia, I know, I know that. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to go to point A to point B, man. You know, uh, your trips would go so much smoother if you would straighten up your act and actually had the license plates and registration all in order. But I guess you're too much of a dimwit to figure that out. You can understand that. Okay. The right to travel. Let me get my documents. May I reach back here? No. Uh, right do here. Some, say, no, I don't have any weapons. Okay, well, no. No, you, you see not the reach papers? Back there. That's legal reach. documents. The papers okay. right here. The papers right here, sir. Okay, but don't reach back there. Officer Thornton, may I get them papers right there? No. All right. You, you asked me to show you identification and stuff, right? Right. What you told me that you... He asked me to show him identification. He's, he's telling me I can't grab the legal documents that I have to say who I am. Hey, listen, Brainiac. Uh, the reason why they're not letting you reach back there is perfectly obvious, isn't it? It's officer safety because you never know what kind of nefarious intent that some people may have. What kind okay, of for the record, that's legal documents right there. You see those in your sight? May I reach back and grab those? You can grab those pieces of paper. Okay. Yes, that's it. All right, I'm going to go very slowly. I'm going to reach back here and grab these guys. Okay? Like this, right here. I've got them right here. Okay. Right here. All right? Now, let me show you these. Okay. Page one. Okay. Officer Thornton, for the record, I would you like you to hear this too, guys? For the record. Oh my goodness, he's actually going to read it all, so I am just going to skip ahead because you know what? It would just take forever to debunk every little thing he says from this point on. So, no, 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 I don't have the time for that. I don't have the time for that. Six and a half hours later. Officer Wiley, how you been? Sir, I remember you. You pulled me over a long time ago on my motorcycle. How are you, sir? Sir, pardon me? I can't hear you. What's that? I said a long time ago. Uh -huh. um, my name is Eric, by the way. Okay. I'm not refusing anything. Okay. Is that that's officer said for the record. Okay. Uh, this fine. is Officer Wiley. Yeah. Um, I do know this man for the record. Um, uh, aside from the the contract that they're trying to contract with me right this evening. So, Officer Wiley, let me explain to you what's going on. How do you know? How do we know each other? Um, I believe you pulled me over um, on my motorcycle in 2014, and I. I believe that was you or you were there or something. I don't know. It's been a while since I've pulled anybody over on a motorcycle, but who knows? That was a bobber. That was me. But look what happened. Okay. Two rides, ten screws from it. <laughs> Anyhow, officer, um, I was telling this gentleman, and he walked away when I was reading him Supreme Court justice, okay? This is what's going on. He told me about, he pulled me over for my tag, okay? I don't have a tag. I told him, I said, well, I do commerce in this vehicle, 
this vehicle, but at this moment, it's a vehicle. It's not a commercial motor vehicle. Okay. So I haven't registered it yet, okay? okay. So, and by law, and, a, and Supreme Court says by law, Officer Wiley, I don't mean to take your attention, but I need your attention if you don't mind. Um, the Supreme Court says that no personal good, this is a personal good, has a subject right to get license and registration unless you consent to it. It's a personal good, it's not subject to it. So I was explaining to him, I do believe in it for commercial use, inspections, we have to have safety on our roads that our gasoline tax pays for, but I was telling him the law, and I have that right here in front of me, because I figured, I just, I just got this car a couple days ago, and I figured this might happen. So, so let me just print it out. So, the right of a citizen to travel upon public highway. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, officers. Let's have some mercy here on everybody who's watching. Stop this madness. Many unbearable hours later. Just sit down one second, yes, sir. Okay. Officer Wiley, if you could put your two cents in there for me. Yeah. Uh, motorcycle wreck, yes, sir. Yeah. Right there off of uh, Pine and uh, Spencer. I, I was, that wasn't me. That was my friend, but I was on, that's where I saw you at. I was at the, ra the, the wreck on um, Red Bluff and Fairmont. Red Bluff and Fairmont. I went, I went down on my bobber right there. I can show you. Okay. Yeah. Spinoza, uh, Spinoza what, uh, what's your badge number? 2020. 2020. I've known this guy since I was a little kid, and he's, we, we, we talked about a lot of stuff. But we're here today. Um, we're co quoting some case law of right to travel. Again? What the hell, dude? Stop it! Thousands of tears later. Um, I was in travel. I'm not in commerce right now. I'm not driving. I'm in, I'm in travel. Um, and I'd like to be free to go. Um, I'm gonna take this guy home. Right. And, um, I'm a, I'm a, you know me, I'm a Deer Park resident, man. Jerry Mouton's my mayor. Uh, we go to church with Jerry Mouton, the mayor. He plays bass at our, at our church, you know. I'm not doing anything wrong here, guys. I don't, I don't need, need to, you know, this is ridiculous. <laughs> so what did the other officer ask you for? He asked me for my ID. He said, are you, are you refusing to show me? I said, sir, I'm not refusing anything. I just don't want to answer any questions until, until uh, a boss gets here. I need a boss to get here. Well, he's so, on his way. So, yeah. Sorry, on his way. Okay. Espinosa, could you talk to the boss and let him know that, that I'm, I'm, I'm exercising my right to travel, man. I you know, that. I've got. I'll tell you this. I've got no drugs on me, and I'm not. Even, I don't have to answer any questions, to you guys. But I've got no drugs on me. I've got no weapons. I do have a. I do have. Let me show you what I do have. I have a. Um, it's a little. It's a little box cutter. Okay, I'll tell you. I got that. That's it. This is not illegal. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, I've got. I showed the guy my 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 all my stuff, and he's wanting my name. And I'm like, man, the Fourth Amendment clearly states. The right of a citizen to be remain, to be safe, sound, and secure in his person, his paper, and his properties against illegal searches and seizures, unlawful detainments, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, so, is this the boss? Yes, sir. What's his name? Sergeant Dunn. Sergeant Dunn. Yeah. Excellent. I'll let him talk to you. Yeah, all. talk to him real quick. I'll, I'll be here. Thank you. Oh, my brain hurts from listening to this dim-witted soft heart. So, you know what? Here's a token Tenth Amendment argument just for you. Enjoy it. So, we're here. Um, it's... Christmas almost, um, exercising our right to travel, and we are sitting here, and there's like five or six or seven police officers surrounding uh, a U.S. veteran that fought and died for the Constitution. Oh my goodness, you must have a zombie in the car with you, although he does look pretty lively to be a zombie. Um, and this exercise of his right to travel and didn't hurt nobody. There was no person or property damage. I believe here we have Sergeant Dunn approaching us. Sergeant Dunn, how, howdy, sir. Hello. How are you today? Pretty good. Good, sir. For the record, uh, Officer D uh, Sergeant Dunn, Pasadena Police Department. Um, okay. I, I'm sorry. Let's officer. make one thing clear. Yes, sir. You're under arrest. Get out of the car. Okay. We will use you in this safe Officer Dunn, here's my, here's my credentials. You're under arrest. Hey, uh, can, so can, 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 what am I under arrest for, sir? For the record? Traffic. For traffic, sir. That's that's a that's a that's an infraction, sir. Of Officer Dunn. That's an infraction, right? That's an infraction. I'm not. I'm in. I'm in travel right now, guys. That's fine. Wait. Okay, here. I'll, I'll get out. I'll get out, guys. I'm gonna get out. I'm getting out, sir. Okay. No need to use force, guys. May I grab my stuff? You can. Yes, you, you can keep the car. All right. Let me go ahead and grab this. Y'all don't need to use force, guys. No, no need to use force. Can I take my, my taco? Oh, thank goodness. I could not stand another reading of that diatribe he was spewing out. I deleted it so you guys wouldn't have to listen to it. <laughs> yeah, so be thankful you didn't have to sit through several 
sessions of that. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.